it weren't taboos to me. You could hear anything we were saying on a, you know, in a schoolyard. What was the big surprise? And here is our number one story, the death of a legendary TV producer who raised the nation's conscience on race relations with his iconic shows about, well, real life humans, real life Americans, such as All in the Family, The Jeffersons, and Sanford and Son. Norman Lear has died at the age of 101. Yeah, this morning, Hollywood is giving thanks to the man who wasn't afraid to confront issues with lovable characters and brilliant storytelling. KKL News Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joining us with a look back at the life and legacy of Norman Lear, 101 years old. What a life. Yes, and a legend. Somebody who actually changed television is a history maker, and I'm so glad he made it to the triple digits, but Norman Lear will be missed. He revolutionized TV. He called himself a writer at heart. He was also a director, producer, an activist. His sitcoms were hilarious, but they were also about timely and serious topics. He also produced Spinal Tap, Stand By Me, The Princess Bride, and he was sharp until the end. He was posting about the writer strike and podcasting with his grandson just two <laughs> months ago in October. He died peacefully last night in his sleep, surrounded by his family here in L.A. My name is Norman Lear. Norman Lear was the king of sitcoms. His reign began in 1971 with All in the Family. Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. The central character, Archie Bunker, was a working class bigot. The sitcom touched on topics rarely seen before on TV, including racism, homosexuality, and rape. Lear also produced Sanford and Sons, The Jeffersons, and Good Times, hit shows that navigated the black experience. Dynamite! At one point, he had seven hit shows on TV, including Maude. He spoke to 60 Minutes' Bill Whitaker about what that meant to him. Did you plan to topple old taboos when you put these shows on the air? They weren't taboos to me. You could hear anything we were saying on a, you know, in a schoolyard. What was the big surprise? I think the big surprise was that you put it on TV. First one to do it. I fess up. <laughs> in 1981, Lear helped start the Civil Liberties Group, People for the American Way. I think of myself, by the way, as a bleeding heart conservative. You will not mess with my Bill of Rights. Over the course of his illustrious career, Lear won six Emmy Awards and the Kennedy Center Honor. He was also a philanthropist, producer, and activist. Norman Lear changed the face of television and how we saw ourselves. And the tributes are pouring in on social media. Rob Reiner wrote on X, I loved Norman Lear with all my heart. He was my second father, sending my love to Lynn, that's his wife, and the whole Lear family. Billy Crystal paying tribute with a photo of them together, saying we have lost a giant, a man of great humor and dignity. What an amazing life that has given a, so much to us all. He used laughter as a way to look at ourselves, a blessing to have been his friend for almost 50 years. John Stewart writing, good night, Norman, love you, thanks for raising me. And on Instagram, Tyler Perry posted about a touching moment he shared with Lear. He had asked him at 100 years old, what are you looking forward to? Without any hesitation, Norman Lear said, tomorrow. <laughs> Perry said it was such a simple but powerful lesson to live your life fully one day at a time. And in just a few hours, flowers will be placed on his Hollywood Walk of Fame star. It's right near Cherokee, near the legendary Musso and Frank's Grill. So Jasmine, a loss of a legend, but his legacy lives on forever. It certainly does, a father to so many. All right, Suzanne, thank Thanks. you for that.